Good afternoon and welcome to Columbus Glen International Airport. CMH doing a uh, double header today. We're going here and we're going to Rickenbacker. We got a Antonov AN124 due in today, so we're going to go down there and get that. Hope you all having a great day. Got a big helicopter here on the field. American Eagle 4685. Coming here on 28 left. I hear a rumor that the Antonov is scheduled to leave tomorrow. So if we get enough time and enough advance warning to get down here, we'll try to come down and get the departure tomorrow. But so much fun to see that come into Rickenbacker. First time I've seen one in a while. Uh, first time I've ever actually seen one land, but um, I've seen them on the ground several times. But ever since the war in Ukraine, we haven't had one in town. American Eagle taxi into the gate. Seventeen ninety inbound from Houston. Thirty five eighty seven thirty five to Spirit. Spirit 889 heading to LAX. American 737 pushing back. Well, 
over here in the southwest side on Max 8. And just heading to the runway. on the engines on the Max 8. They're heading out here to 2.8 left. Forty-five nineteen inbound from DCA. Alaska 450 heading to Seattle. I think it was 2290. I know it's a uh, Max 8 heading to St. Louis. Southwest 3518 inbound from DCA. Just want to send a shout out to everybody that I got to meet face to face down here in Columbus today at both uh, CMH and LCK. Really nice to meet everybody. And I also want to thank everyone for your support. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate everyone's support. Um, got a very special event on Wednesday. Tomorrow we're going to see what happens with the uh, 124 if it takes off tomorrow we have time we'll come down and get it taken off tomorrow um, Thursday we might go to Dayton might hit the Air Force Museum and maybe do some spotting at Wright Pat there's been no military activity whatsoever today I was really disappointed we didn't get anything over at Rickenbacker as far as the military uh, so Thursday or Friday we'll go do that and we'll certainly keep an eye on the skies to see what is coming in here what's coming in in Cleveland and we'll go from there American 1487 heading to DFW.
42.83 inbound from Dulles. Definitely a uh, rare bird for me. We don't get very many of these in Columbus. These United Express ERJs. We get the American Eagles. We might get a couple of those a day, but very many of these. This one, of course, is still in the old merger livery. That was getting pretty chilly up here. Another southwest pushing back. Rampage is hard at work getting these flights turned around and getting them getting them out of here. The Southwest flight's been sitting over here for about the last 20 minutes waiting for their gate. They must have needed that last flight to move before they can get over here. We'll come back to the Southwest as American Eagle 4685 departs off 28 left on their way to New York's JFK, John F. Kennedy International Airport. Cleveland Hopkins is getting a UPS MD-11 at some time tonight. Thought about driving up there. You know, John was at uh, LCK with me. He's trying to head up to Cleveland to catch it. I didn't bring my uh, A7 with me down to Rickenbacker because I wasn't sure how much zoom I would need. So I figured I'll just stay down here. There's a DC-9 coming in too, but it'll come in after dark. But we'll keep an eye out to... We're going to get one of those MD-11s to party before they go away, I promise. Southwest 274 inbound from Orlando.
Southwest 280, they're going to head to Orlando. Got a Phenom inbound from Chicago. United Airlines 2350, it's a special livery inbound. It's the Star Alliance livery on this 737-800 inbound from Chicago. Delta Connection 5831 has been sitting over here at the hold spot, the hold point, waiting to go. They're heading to LaGuardia. They've been sitting over here probably for the last at least 25, 30 minutes. It's been a little bit because I, they were waiting when I was over here the last time. I walked to the other side to get those arrivals and departures. They came over here, so it's at least 25 minutes probably. here directly in front of me and I think it's wearing two different winglets is the Star Alliance 737 this is the old one with the gray engines there's another one that has blue engines but it definitely has a Star Alliance winglet on the left side and the right side has the Burger Livery United winglet heading over to their gate Pretty sure this is the third, maybe fourth different airport that we've seen this liver. I know we've seen it in Houston. Um, we went there last summer. It definitely has a different winglet on this side. So I think we saw five different Star Alliance airplanes when we were there. We might have seen it at Dulles too. I don't remember. I know we've definitely seen it at Hopkins. So we'll have to see a make to the list. It's a good look at livery though. It's one of my favorite paint schemes. We had a 700 for a while, but they painted that one. So the only ones left now are these 800s, and of course the heavies. Got another Southwest pushing back. suitcase going on board. Got two 
Three bucks. <laughs> and everything loaded up. And they can go wherever this 737 is going. And then maybe off to somewhere else, who knows? Southwest 1516 inbound from Las Vegas. Looks like this one is still wearing the Canyon Blue livery. It's getting fewer and farther between. Which Southwest livery are you a fan of the most? Do you like this livery? Do you like the current heart livery? Or do you prefer the old school retro Kent or the retro desert gold livery? 1790 heading to Chicago Midway. Gotta admit, I'm always gonna be a fan of the Canyon Blue livery. I love the red bellies. I love the shade of blue that it chose. I know it's kind of faded over the years. And I know the tail is a little bit dated looking. Um, but I'm, I'm always a fan of that livery. I grew up with the gold livery. So I remember those uh, at the airport to fly over my house all the time as a kid. Absolutely did enjoy seeing that retro last year. Hopefully we see it again soon. But I'm always, always I think I'm going to be a fan of that Canyon Blue. Heart's not bad. I love the special livery hearts with the tail. What they do with the tail and the special liveries. Of course, it is a Canyon Blue Retro Max 8, named in honor of Colleen Barrett. We got it at Cleveland shortly after it started flying last year, but still hoping to get it in a little bit better light. I'd love to get it down here because you get so close to Southwest liveries. So fingers crossed we get that one here soon. Four, touch it down from El Centro.
Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I might need to change lenses. <laughs> Legion 1265 touching down from Orlando. Probably gonna head up to Columbus Glen here in a little bit. Do some spotting up there. Nope, you're good. Here, yeah, rumored that the uh, Antonov might leave tomorrow, so we'll keep an eye on the schedule. And if it leaves during the day, we'll try to maybe come back. One thirty five is on the ground. I'm looking through the window and it's standing in the rain. I'm running out of our stop. I think so. Caravan taxiing out. Be heading up to Rome here in a minute. Thank you. 
bus and the taxis in front of us. Got an AirNet Learjet turning off here. Learjet taxi and back out. Learjet taking off. Nine nine eight nine inbound from Amsterdam. I hope that wasn't on camera. <laughs> I hope it was. He <laughs> put
All right, that'll do it for today from Columbus Glen International. Ever hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoyed the uh, Antonov and the Emirates Triple Seven we saw earlier today. We'll see where we go tomorrow. I'm on vacation all week, so every day could be an adventure. Hopefully, we get an update on the AN124 if it leaves um, during a good time and we get enough morning to get back down there. We will absolutely head back to the to film that for you. Wednesday, we're going to go inside the Goodyear Blimp Wingfoot 1, so I'm looking forward to bringing that to you. And then um, go on from there. So definitely we'll be hitting Cleveland. Might be coming back down here this week. Possibly Detroit and possibly Dayton. So we'll see what goes on. So stay tuned. If you haven't done so, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. Comment down below. I uh, love well, it. Hope you all have a great rest of the week. And we'll see you next time. Um, who knows? Have a great night, everybody. Thank you.